Or okay, guys, so welcome back once again. If you're someone new to my channel, my name is Niklesh and I live here in Berlin. This video is dedicated to all those students who are studying in the Department of Chemistry. If you're someone who is part of bachelor's right now, you're about to graduate, or you're someone who has already graduated in chemistry bachelor's and you're working somewhere in the lab or in the academia, anywhere, this video is dedicated for you. So the focus area in this video is I will be sharing list of colleges where you can apply for uh, masters in chemistry. What kind of job opportunities are there? How much salary do they get paid if you graduate as a masters in chemistry? And what do really students do when they graduate from masters in chemistry here in Germany? Because in my experience, I've seen a lot of people, they eventually land up doing PhD. You of course have two options after you graduate, either you go and work in the industry or you go and do your PhD. One very important point, if you wish to do PhD, please select always four semester master's program because there are three semester master's programs as well here in this country for chemistry. Always go for 120 ECTS program, which is basically four semester programs. So before we move ahead from here on, all the universities which I will be showing you, they don't have any tuition fees. However, they have a uh, little to very minimum level of semester contributions, what you'll have to make multiplied by a number of semesters of what you're going to have for masters. So I just want to share a quick conversation what I had with one of my friends. She's currently studying in University of Bonn. Uh, she's doing her PhD. However, she did her masters in chemistry from FU Freie University in Berlin. And she's doing her PhD now in University of Cologne. And because I don't come from chemistry department, I got a lot of education from her organic, inorganic, physical. And then, you know, our conversation went on for good two and a half hours talking only about chemistry because I wanted to do this video and understand what is really happening. And that's why I'm, I will also be sharing a specializations, what you can focus on to make your career here in this country when it comes to chemistry. Before masters. we begin, there is a Google form in the description of this video. You can jump onto that and fill in your details. We'll stay in touch. We'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support, whether it's this year, 2022, or for next year, 2023. If some of you are interested to have this presentation, I'll uh, give it in the description or I'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a Google form. If you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile, people also, you know, very often book personal appointment with me. So you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that uh, website where you can book the appointment. I've been doing this long enough now for a little over four or five years now. And I've seen thousands of students and, and I'm happy to tell you that I've been part of their success story. And exactly by doing that, mentorship was actually born. Uh, I learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts. And uh, that's how I've designed my 12 months of program. You can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description i'm going to drop a link there this mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in india and it only stops here in germany when you're on a part-time job so that's how the whole chapters are designed some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg it goes really really deep three years or four years of degree what about ects here in germany a lot of rejection especially in chemistry department people get when they apply for masters is because they are not able to meet enough credits ECTA stands for basically credits so you know credits are nothing to do with grades credits are given solely based on the subjects what you have studied in your bachelor's and how much hours have you spent studying that particular subject whether it was self-study or sitting in a classroom every master's program will ask you for at least 180 credit points from your bachelors now how do you know each subject what you're studying how much credits do they have is by going to your university administration go to them tell them they are aware of this whole ects just simply go and ask them how much is this particular subject and what is the uh, credits given to this. When I look at the consolidated mark sheet or a transcript of some of the universities, I've seen that it's on the back side or mentioned at somewhere at the bottom of the results. So to begin with, if you're someone who is currently studying, let's say in X university, okay, and you want to know 
whether your university or the course what you are studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per german database which is called as anabin basically in a nutshell anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's what you studied bachelor's in mechanical in india let's say for example to bachelor's here in germany in mechanical and what you have to see is your university has something called as h plus so i'll quickly show you how you can check your university whether it's approved by anabin or not just go on google and type anabin.de when you're here go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search let me just switch this for you in english oh my selection i think it's there from previously so it's selected india in your case you have to open country selection and just press i and it will show india or a list of countries with i confirm place where in india let's say i want to check mumbai i'm going to go and type m and then say uh mumbai maharashtra so this is where you will see amity university mumbai uh, it's a private university and it's h plus that means it's approved and likewise you have to go and look for your university you can change the city name to something else wherever you come from you know and then uh let's say mangalore you can see it right here okay so for example this university it's h minus now that this university is h minus this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from anabin and there is a altogether different process which i don't want to get into right now but yes make sure that your university is h plus list of documents what you need to apply in a university which is uh, right here nine things uh, primarily bachelor's degree transcripts for all eight semesters consolidated mark sheets or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester then provisional degree you need sop let's say you are applying for 10 different universities then you need 10 different sops uh, designed you need three at least three uh, letter of recommendations ielts 6.5 overall and you need to give academic ielts not general ielts there are two types that's why work experience letter if you have any internship or eca stands for extra curricular activity uh if you have published some academic papers uh cv in europass format a uh, course module book course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering uh you know in a pdf format what was the course content what you were taught which you can get it from your administration so these are the nine documents which are the basis of application so there are two intakes in germany one is in summer one is in winter summer starts in april the deadline is 15th of jan normally the application actually begins in by november december onwards for winter it starts in october the deadline is may uh, 15th sometimes the deadlines can also go till june 15th so in germany uh, the application is done via three ways via university portal via my assist or combination of first and second now how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application well you'll have to check on the course website seen me talking about german gpa so this is what the breakdown of german gpa is so one is the highest you can score here in this country four is bare minimum like just pass anything beyond four is fail now many of you would already have your grades into either cgpa or sgpa or percentage how can you calculate that from that grading system to german gpa i have i have this link right here uh which i'm going to click now and it will take us directly onto the website of technical university munich we're going to convert the grades let's say the highest what uh, high cgpa one can get is 10 uh the bare minimum required to pass the degree is 5 and you got let's say 7.2 that's your german gpa right here you know 2.6 is something what you have got if yours would be let's say 8 then it's 2.2 so this is how you calculate grades so moving forward from here on 
all right now that you have seen that there are so many colleges how do you keep track of them there is a there has to be a structure to it so in nikshala in our company we follow certain way of doing things which has been the most efficient what i've seen over the course of time you're on google make sure that you go ahead and make this on google sheet right here now that you're here uh, first of all go ahead and change the name of the file university so this is a kind of structure what i personally uh, would like to have when it comes to you know shortlisting of the university it starts with serial number right here then it goes on to university and uh, under university there is two types one is the university name and the type of university so if it's tu then you write tu right here okay uh, and then there is a course uh what course is this so you know in this case it's computational engineering you can see that how many semesters the program is of what is the deadline does it require you to have german or not does it require you to have ielts or not uh what is the prerequisite have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need what gpa what german gpa does it require like for example 2.5 first class with distinction ects requirement if it's 210 or 180 if it requires sop or not if it's yes then just type yes lor then how many lors if you have given test as or gre what has been your score here mode of application is it via uni assist or is it via direct portal you know then the the course website as you can see it's right here it's displaying out and if you have any email id of the course coordinator this is the typical format i like to follow here it has proven to be very successful for last so many years i have used this format with different students so moving from here on this is where i'm going to talk about list of universities when it comes to studying masters in chemistry i have embedded link here you can have this presentation from the description of this video let me just click here and then this is what you get to see so when you press that link you will see 58 results right here these are english taught program with only 500 euro per semester and for winter intake because winter intake is just around the corner now so scroll down and prepare a list for yourself just the way i showed you just now on the excel sheet so there is total of 6 pages not much i think if you just spend like 2 hours on this you'll you'll get there let's just check for example your know, environmental chemistry in the university of uh, bayreuth so go in here it's a four semester program uh requirements is right here so they need 2.5 german grade okay and i'm pretty sure they have written that what bachelors they're accepting for this it's right here language which is oh they need at least a1 german level so yeah go with it application deadline 15 of june application have to go via their portal so semester contribution is of 100 Seven euros per semester, one hundred and seven point eight one euros per semester to be precise. So this is how you have to go ahead and prepare your Excel sheet for university shortlisting based on how much you have got in your bachelor's. I would say that please have more academic publications on top of your bachelor's or a work experience, if possible, from a lab uh, or doing something in your space, and that has to be related to. your masters program if possible all right so i'm back on the slide let's move on just to go over the specializations it's biochemistry chemical physics environmental science green chemistry so you can have a look have a quick read whichever is your area of interest in organic chemistry research and then you know materials and nano science organic chemistry research physical chemistry theory and co uh, computation so these are the areas where you can specialize yourself in and go really deep moving from here on this way we're going to start talking about jobs and salary or phd in my introduction i told you that most students i know of who are doing chemistry they end up doing phd because they have their area of interest and that's where their masters or a bachelor's as well was leading towards i met some people who wanted to be a professor so that's why they they're doing phd I have also met people they are interested in R&D that's why they are doing PhD because even after doing PhD of course you have one more option we either actually two option either you go and work as a postdoc again or you can go and work in a R&D department if you're someone who wants to know what happens after studying masters 
uh, how much salary or what kind of job am I going to land. Uh, this is where there is a link I have embedded. When you click here, this is where you land. So we are on gehalt.de. When you press that link, this is where you will be here. So Professor Schiff of Applied Analytical Chemistry. And uh, wow, there's a, you know, a job opening in BMW as well. Resident Expert Quantum Chemistry in Munich. This was uploaded on 16th of uh, March with an average monthly salary range of 4,500 euros all the way going till 6,000. So this is the range what they've given. And uh, there's a lot of openings. You can see it by yourself uh, by jumping onto this link. You can go on to the next page. You can also do one thing. You can check by putting a, a city name. Let's say München, which is Munich. So for Munich, they are showing the salary range on the right hand side this is per month if you want to check it for a year now please do check what profession what job title these are for so based on that you're getting a salary annually we are on the last slide if you want to get enrolled for the program you can just click right here uh, as i said you can have this pdf for yourself and uh, yeah get in touch with us we'll be happy to help you out so yeah if you have made it till here, thank you so much for tuning in. Now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents, go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help, but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh, because that's where a lot of people make mistakes. So having said that, thank you so much. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.